everybody. Yes, I've got a little chapter here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, it's not. <laughs> there you go. Hi, baby. How are you? Yeah, what do you need? Probably treats. Huh, right? You need treats. Okay. A little later, okay? Love. Right. Coffee. First thing in the morning, that's what I need. Got my stevia. I don't know if I can do this while I... I don't know. This is all freaking new to me. Did I just do anything, everything while I look in the camera? God, I'm so old and feeble. All right. Yeah, see, I can't really even see what I'm doing. All right, Stevia. Cool. All right. My lid. All right. Creamer. I cannot live without my creamer. Oops. That sucks. New creamer. You see, you see this? The bane of my existence right there. Good morning. I had my coffee. I had my pills. You know, the old geezer stuff. I'm a little headachy, so I just had some headache medication. Um, I needed a cancer break, break from cancer, don't we all? Some days I just don't, you know, I, I do videos, I get tired of talking about cancer, and not just on videos, I mean, um, a lot of people call me and send texts and all, and wanting to know how I'm doing, what's the latest, and Basically, I just say I'm nauseous and tired today, so thanks for asking. <laughs> and that's pretty much every day. Um, so I thought maybe I could talk about something a little different today. I want to talk about cats, actually. I, am, I refuse to be a cat person. I love these cats, but I'm a dog person. What the heck is going on here? But I have so many questions why they behave the way they do. What is going on with these critters? Maybe you can help me in the comments decipher their behavior. Um, Gomez has been a little cranky lately and I don't know what's going on. He has thrown up a couple of times. He doesn't seem to feel bad. He's just grumpy. And um, Maybe it's because he doesn't feel bad. I mean, maybe he does feel bad, and maybe that's why. But I feel like it's more of a catitude than anything else. He is shedding like crazy. I'm thinking maybe it's him being tired and that, you know, because he is medium-haired. And he's three years old now. And my understanding is that they don't get their full coat as far as their winter coat until the third year. He shed like crazy. He was really a puff ball. We brush him every day. Um, and even though, even if we brush him and we vacuum the floors, still picking it up. So I'm hoping that's done soon because it's getting old and that might be what's aggravating him too. He's, and he might be actually throwing up, hair balls. I mean, it seems to be all food, but there could be some hair in there that we're not seeing. I don't get too close to examine. I just zoom in. <laughs> um, and he and Gloria are wrestling like they usually do, but sometimes I feel like it's getting out of hand and Gomez might be going too far, which is interesting because when it was the dog Iggy and Gomez, and Gloria wasn't here yet, uh, it would be Iggy that went too far because Iggy had so much energy. The cat would have fun for a little while and just go, okay, enough, enough. And Iggy doesn't really have a shut off valve. <laughs> and 
and, and I'm hoping that Iggy's going to be coming back to visit soon. And I'll make sure that you get to see him. Um, but yeah, these cats can be a little crazy. Oh my goodness, at like 2 in the morning, they will chase each other up and down the steps. I feel like I owe my neighbor an apology letter, except that life wouldn't be the same without her dog on, the, on her deck. We're in townhouses. Uh, well, we're in one of them. Um, but her dog's left alone for the most part on the deck and will bark at anybody coming by. She claims to be just in the kitchen, but I don't see her running out to tell the dog to not or training the dog properly. Um, but she did say she's getting better. I don't know. I don't know. I just know it's not fair to young kids walking by. Um, we are butt up against a park with a walking trail, and that trail goes right past the decks. Anyway, so maybe I don't owe her anything, and it's probably an apology, but it, it is kind of loud, though, you know, and I'm hoping that she sleeps through it. I know that my husband does. He sleeps through anything. I remember there was some celebration in town, and there were fireworks, and I... I asked him the next morning, did you hear those fireworks? We had fireworks? You know, just, you can sleep through a train wreck. Um, so anyway, so these kitties are kind of lethargic right now, but I'll try to get a little video during the day and then I'll come back and ask you what the heck is that. There is one that I may not get on video because it's late at night um, when this happens, but Gomez likes to jump, almost climbing a door jam. Um, but he acts like there's something up there. Like, uh, it's spooky. I feel that there's spooks in here that only he can see or talk to. And funny thing about that. When we first moved in, um, Chris had done the floors really well. Like top, it wasn't as clean as it could have been uh, moving in. So we took care of a lot of things. And when we did move in, or as the, the day before moving day, Chris walked across the floor and kicked something by accident. And it was a little plastic ghost that would probably be on garlands, like maybe at Halloween time. A little plastic ghost with a big smile. And Chris said, that's not even possible. That's not even possible, you know, that he actually cleaned that floor, you know, from one end to the other, there was nothing on that floor. And we kind of giggled because everywhere we go, they kind of follow us. There's always activity where we live. And I think that Gomez is picking up on that. Now, the fact that it was a smiley ghost, I feel like it's a friendly one. The original owners, um, one had passed away not long after they moved in. And so we had done a little research and his name was Richard. And we, uh, we always say, it, you know, Richard, coming to say hi but this cat will cry and talk and kind of run after nothing the air and climb up walls or try and so when we got Gloria it takes a long time to introduce two cats you know, it was two weeks before she had to, she came out of one of the bedrooms. And they got along famously from day one. But uh, recently, she's doing the same thing. What is that? You got to tell me what that is. I hope I can get that on film for you because is this is film. I don't know. Um, I hope I can get that on video for you. Cause it's amazing it's just 
and they this cry that they thought that, that they're trying to reach someone I don't know I don't know but I always feel protected like Gomez will get them actually uh, I have great protectors Gomez always sat outside the bedroom door there's no cats allowed in the bedroom basically because I know everything on my vanity would be on the on the floor <laughs> not stupid um, and I don't need cats laying on my head but Gomez always sat outside the bedroom door waiting for you to come out and then would walk you down the stairs and follow you around a little bit and then we knew that Gomez did not want to be alone. And when we got Gloria, now I've got goo dogs, one on either side of the door. And they walk me down the steps. Gomez has been grumpy enough though that he hasn't really wanted to be touched. He wants to be in the room with you, but that's always kind of been him. He's, he's affectionate at, well, they're all affectionate, I guess, on their own terms, but he's especially um, picky <laughs> and moody. When Iggy left and before we got Gloria, though, he was really lovey-dovey. And now that Gloria's here, he's just like, yeah, yeah, leave me alone. Don't touch me. I don't care. But then there's other days when he's just love. And, um, and Gloria... She just loves to be touched, but she doesn't care to be picked up. Neither of them do. I guess cats really don't. Um, but she'll just flop over on the floor, like, don't pick me up, but do give me tickles. That's it. Anyway, I would like to hear about your cat stories. If your cats do something similar, you know, I mean, everything I give you is speculation. I am not uh, well-versed in cat yet, but they're both very sweet. Okay, I've got to go to the grocery store and pick up some ground beef because I thought we had some in the freezer for tonight. Eh, it'll get me out the joys of cooking. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a little bit. And we're not going to talk anymore about cancer, I don't think. Hey, Gloria. Gloria? Are you a fancy cat? You're not, I know. Hey, Gloria? Hi, are you a fancy cat? No, you're just a sleepy cat. Still a mess everywhere. She's so sloppy. And Gomez has this really sweet little cry. Meow, meow. And she sounds like a trucker, like, who smokes a pack a day for the last 50 years. Oh, that's so rude, right? Are you feeling better now? Gomez. Hello. Can we just get along? I didn't get a lot of antics that I usually get with these cats in this video, especially with this video being about the cats. Um, Gomez seems to feel be feeling a little bit more affectionate. Uh, and I'm wondering if we were brushing him a little too hard 
um, he's shedding like crazy for the spring, you know, getting all of his undercoat from the winter. And, uh, you know, maybe that's why he really was sensitive to touch. So we're laying off on that a little bit. Um, and Gloria seems to have a little bit of an eye gozy that I keep cleaning out of one of her eyes, on the corner of one of her eyes. But the eye doesn't seem swollen or you know, it's not, it doesn't look wa extra watery. It looks the same as the other eye. So I'm just going to keep an eye on it. Um, I looked it up online and I'm not too concerned. But if it, if it persists or things change, I'll definitely get that checked out. And I would worry about Gomez as well. So if it's something contagious. Um, it's really hard sometimes when you assess your pet, whether it's a cat or a dog, um, and really to decide when to go to a vet and, you know, when not to jump at that. I don't like to jump at it. Well, I mean, vets are very expensive. However, you know, your pet comes first. That's the way it is. But, um, I don't like just jumping at the vets every time there's something wrong. A lot of things that just pass. So, um, anyway, I would love to hear your comments about cats. Share your stories. Um, because, you know, this is kind of like my first time dealing with two cats, having two cats, loving two cats, and laughing at two cats. They do make me laugh. Um, but you know, I miss Iggy. I absolutely do. I'm probably always going to be the dog person. Uh, but I'm really glad that Gloria is here to keep Gomez company and, uh, they're pretty chummy. You know, I'd like to know if you have two cats, I'd like to know, do they get along? You know, I mean, we did it right where we had to put Gloria in the, in the extra bedroom for almost two weeks before they actually saw each other face to face. And by that time, we taken we had taken all the 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 steps like scent exchange and, and things like that. And they were just like best buds right away. So that's that was a load off my mind too because all I could think of was that I was going to see fur flying. <laughs> so, so that was a good deal. Um, okay, so I will talk to you soon. Uh, my next video will be more about. Um, you know, I needed this cancer break, but you know, then I do have some things to talk about, about my upcoming test and appointment. And, uh, I will catch you then. I hope to see you. Make sure you like, and subscribe. Don't forget. Okay. Thank you. Bye.